It is the most ravishing piece of music. The colour that uh, Glazunov produces with his scoring is quite wonderful. It's just an amazingly lush, beautiful piece. I love the music. It's passionate, it's full on, and it just works so well. Uh, the, the choreography gives the music energy and vice versa. In preparing Tamara's production, we talked and worked a lot on what we could extract to make it relevant to Tamara's synopsis, her take on the synopsis. The scale of the work it has some 4,500 bars, and some of it is actually through composed. It means that if you start chopping up the score, it really does take a lot of knitting together. There have been cuts, there's been reordering, uh, there have been sections that have been expanded. But I truly believe that what we have come up with and what we have settled on is the best possible representation of this ravishing score. You get all of the relevant dance, you get all of the relevant dramatic pace, and you also get some thumping good tunes. But ultimately, you've got the major part of the score being Glazunov's um, Raimonda as he intended it. It's a gigantic work that just deserves to be heard and hopefully we're putting that right. We are having a traditional Hungarian music sound in Act 3 on stage. The piano solo for Raimonda's traditional variation in Act 3 we don't use the piano for that because the way it sounds with the repeated notes, it is a perfect cimbalum solo. The solo that I have is incredibly beautiful and it's, it seems to use an idea of certain modes that you might find in Middle Eastern music. It really took shape in Hungary. That's the real, the home of this instrument. It has a pedal on it, so it works a bit like a piano. So it is a percussion instrument, but only as much as a piano is a percussion instrument. We strike a key on a piano and a hammer hits a string. And this cuts out the mechanism. It's just a hammer hitting a string. It's got about 105 strings on it, so it takes a very long time to tune. Some of the strings are stretched across a bridge, which means that the strings will be responsible for two different pitches. And it's been a, yeah, it's been a real love affair with the instrument, really. But I, I would say I'm still learning it. I mean, it's, it's a monstrously difficult thing. The hurdy-gurdy is an interesting instrument because, essentially, there's a lot of music in Act 3 that features Hungarian styles. And they're built on what's called a drone, where one note sustains all the way through. It looks a bit like a, a viola da gamba, or uh, in other words, of the, the viol branch of, of stringed instruments rather than the violin branch. Um, it's, it dates back a very long way. Uh, it was used a lot in the Renaissance. It's glorious music, and I know that our orchestra has a character when it plays um, romantic music of this nature, and I can't wait to get to the rostrum with the orchestra in front of me, with the scores open. And until that point, I'm reliant on the piano. I love working as a company pianist because there's so many facets to it. There's playing for class, there's playing for rehearsals, and then if you're lucky, you get to play in, you know, with the orchestra or solo piano and stuff for performances. A playing orchestral score on the piano, especially this huge orchestral score, is hard because of the trying to get the length of phrasing and the breadth of the instrument, especially on the strings. But I always think if you imagine the sound that it's going to be, it kind of helps the way you play it on the piano. Even though if the tempi aren't right, at least you get the sound world that it's going to be. And, and really, hopefully, it then won't be a shock for the dancers when they hear the orchestra, of course. They can expect a lush score from the orchestra. The sound, the playing will be lush. The Raimondo hasn't been done in full in this country. It's amazing. It's about time, really. It's a wonderful score and we look forward to having it under our fingers. I think they'll, that they'll love the tunes and, 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 the, and, and the beautiful scoring of it. That'd just be a sort of fantastic sound which washes over you in the auditorium. Ultimately, this is a magic moment as far as I'm concerned and I know I speak for my musicians as well when we all say we can't wait. <laughs>